why isn't Mercury considered a dwarf planet? So classifying planets is actually really tricky. And it's something that is happening organically as planetary scientists study and better understand the objects that we are actually studying. Typically, though, when we classify a planet, it's going to be based on what it's made from and properties like that more than where it is. As planetary scientists, we're not particularly worried about where something is, although that might influence it. So it's interesting, but that doesn't make it not a planet. For instance, if it's around a different star, if it's not around a star at all, if it's close next to the sun, if it's far away from the sun, if it's orbiting another planet, we go, okay, these are just different kinds of planets. They just make them not a planet. Um, so something that orbits another planet, that's a satellite planet, right? Or something that is, um, doesn't have a star, well, that's a rogue planet, or an exoplanet would be one outside of our solar system. But with Mercury, when we look at what it's made from, it's made mostly from rock and metal. In fact, it has a lot more proportionally metal than any of the other terrestrial worlds. So if we compare that, there's no snake, don't worry. So if we compare that um, to say Ceres, Ceres is amazing. It's a lot more like a terrestrial planet than many of the other dwarf planets, we think, right? We've actually only visited two or three if we count Sharon by spacecraft. Um, but if we look at something like Ceres, Ceres is rocky, but it's also got a lot of water. In fact, we think it's about 25% water and probably more water than all of Earth has, despite only having the surface area of about the Western United States, right? Its diameter is probably about, you know, Arizona or so. So Mercury gets classified as a terrestrial planet because of what it's made from. The gas giants are called gas giants because they're made mostly from gases, hydrogen and helium. The ice giants have a lot of ices, water, ammonia, methane in them. The dwarf planets, we've been calling them dwarf because they're little. But when we start to look at what they're made from, they seem to be made mostly from ices. But ice is in the state of matter of ice, as well as liquid water as well, and rocks. So the dwarf planets actually are, have far more in common with the terrestrial planets, with the larger terrestrial planets, than terrestrial planets do with the Jovians, like the ice and the gas giants. And then once we start adding in the moons, talking about Io, Europa, Ganymede, it starts to get really blurry. And we're still working on the terminology for that, because we're still working on understanding them.